Time for the new Beulah show, starring Amanda Randolph as... Beulah? When it comes to love, I know what the score is. But how can I get into the game? (laughs) (laughs) Yes, sir, it's the new Beulah show brought to you transcribed from Hollywood. Love that man. Laughter is ahead on CBS Radio. Tonight you've already met Beulah to start you off bright. And to keep that laughter going, you'll soon meet Mr. McNutley over most of these same stations. You'll smile with all America at Ray Milland as the absent-minded professor who's the delight of the campus. And right here later tonight, you can meet Millie, the white-collar girl who'll make you forget your cares. Tonight, too, laughs are ahead with Junior Miss, starring Barbara Whiting. And Friday night brings comedy that's rich in the form of Stan Freeberg, known to all as a stumbling, bumbling Mr. Wilt of That's Rich. He's strictly for the birds, but That's Rich is strictly for laughs. Sunday night fun is some fun with Jack Benny, Amos and Andy, Edgar Bergen and Charlie McCarthy, and Eve Arden as our Miss Brooks. Yes, they're all here to make you smile, to make you laugh, to make you have a wonderful time at the Star's Address, CBS Radio. <laughs> Now for our trip to the modest home of the Henderson family and their smiling, happy housekeeper, Beulah. There's no doubt about Beulah being smiling and happy today. That's right, Mr. Jacobs. I'm so happy I could turn a cartwheel. If I could just get my cart off the ground. (laughs) Well, the reason for Beulah's sudden joy is the Henderson's decision to build a rumpus room onto their home and her boyfriend, Bill, has been awarded the contract. At the moment, Beulah is bustling across the backyard to tell the good news to her friend next door. Got the world in a jug Got the stopper in my hand. Got the world in a jug Got the stopper. Oh, hello, Beulah, honey. Oh, good morning, Oriole. Can I come in? Why, certainly. So you want to know something, honey? This is a very coincidence because I was just coming over to your place to ask you something. Well, go ahead and ask. No, no, I can't ask you now. Why not? Because I'm not at your place. I'm here. <laughs> well, uh, ask me anyway. I'm here too, you know. Well, that's just the trouble, honey. If you're here and I go over to your place to ask you, you won't be home. Oriole, <laughs> I'm getting tired of playing Ring Around the Rosy. I came over here to tell you that Bill's going to put up the Henderson's new rumpus room. And I thought maybe Loose Tooth would like a job helping him. Well, that's sweet of you, Beulah, but Loose Tooth just got a new job. And he starts working on it next week. That's next week. Can he work with Bill this week? Well, I'm afraid not. He has to go in training this week. In training? Uh Uh-huh. What's he going to be? An FBI man? No. He's going to be a night watchman. And he's busy catching up on his sleep. (laughs) (laughs) Well, in case he decides he'd like some work to do in the daytime, let me know. Oh, yeah, I'll do that, honey. Well, I better be getting back now. See you later. Unfortunately... Okay, Beulah. Oh, by the way, when you get home, would you give me a ring on the telephone? What in the world for? I haven't heard from you all morning. <laughs> oh, not again. Goodbye. <laughs> now, what's going on out here? Looks like little Donnie's working on something. Hey, what's going on here? Oh, hi, Beulah. Look at this. I'm building a birdhouse. Oh, what's the idea of doing that? You haven't got a bird. No, but I will have. Sandy Emerson's dad bought him a couple of homing pigeons, and we're going to send each other messages. Oh. And just where are you going to keep this birdhouse? Well, up in my room. Hmm. Pigeons in your room, huh? I'll tell you what, Donnie. I'll split the cost if you'll send your messages by telegram instead. Nah, birds are more fun. Oh. More fun, huh? Sandy's dad said he once crossed a homing pigeon with a woodpecker. And you know what he got? No, Mr. Bones. What did he get? He got a bird that knocked on the door when he brought a message. (laughs) (laughs) My, my. Why didn't he cross a pigeon with an owl and get a bird that delivers night letters? (laughs) Say, isn't that Bill coming this way on his motorcycle? Yeah. That's Bill, all right. I can tell by the salami hanging from the handlebars. Hello, baby. Hiya, Donnie boy. Hi, Bill. Hey, Bill, would you mind taking a look at this birdhouse I'm making? Not at all, Donnie boy. Well, what do you think, Bill? Is it okay? Mm, Yeah, not bad, not bad at all. 
Of course, it's good to use a little more reinforcement right across the bottom here. Yeah, in case the bird lays a heavy egg, huh? Uh, <laughs> hammer the hammer, Don, in. I'll fix it. Bueller, you hold this nail while I pound it in. Not me, Bill. I'm not holding a nail while you're swinging a hammer. And why not? For sentimental reasons. I don't want to say goodbye to my fingers. Oh, never mind, never mind. I'll hold it myself. Like this, yeah. Kindling wood, anybody? <laughs> Gee whiz, Bill, you, you smashed the whole birdhouse. Yeah, uh, so I see. Oh, well, it's a good thing we found out before it was too late. Found out what? Green lumber. <laughs> now, don't worry about it, Donnie boy. Old Bill will make you a brand new birdhouse. Gee, Bill, that'd be swell. Mm -hmm. Not right now, though. First, old Bill's got to go down to City Hall with me and get a building permit so he can get started on that rumpus room. Well, that's okay. And in the meantime, I'll go get some more wood and nails someplace. Oh, Bill's got the materials, Donnie. You just have to get one important item. Okay. What? Some band-aids. <laughs> Well, here we are, baby. The Department of Building is right down this hall. Bill, are you sure you'll get a building permit? Mm -hmm. You know, you haven't had much experience in the construction line. Well, oh, don't let it trouble your top, my little taffy apple. I'll go through this like a breeze. Well, you should. You're certainly full of enough wind. <laughs> Come on, let's go in and get it over with. Yes? Can I help you people? Oh, yes, sir. My friend here would like to I get... I can a... speak for myself, baby. <laughs> I'd like to, like a building permit that'll permit me to build a building, mister. Oh, yes. Just have a seat, please. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, Thank sir. you. Here we are. Now, let's see. Just what type of construction are you planning? Well, I'd like to add another room onto a house. That's right. A rumpus room. Mm -hmm. Let me see the blueprint of the room, please. Yes, sir. Here it is. This is it. Right here. Mm hmm Now, if I can have a look at your plot plan. My plot plan? <laughs> That's right. The, uh, plot plan. Oh, oh, the plot plan. Everybody has to have a plot plan. Oh, I wouldn't be caught dead without my plot plan. <laughs> I take it you have no plot plan. Mister, you just took it. That's right, sir. Well, I suppose you could bring it back later. However, there are certain structural details I must have now. Well, I can give you all the structural details now, all right, sir. Fine, fine. Now, what size footing do you have? I wear a size 12 double E. <laughs> Except in hot weather when his feet swell. No, no, no. When I say footings, I'm referring to the concrete foundation of the room. Oh, of course. Well, we'll have one, all right. Uh, let's forget the footings for a moment. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just tell me, do you have steel girders? Sir, that is a very personal question. <laughs> I said girders, not girdles. <laughs> oh. I, uh, I'm terribly sorry, folks, but I'm afraid I'll have to turn down your application for a building permit until such time as you can comply with the regulations of this department. Uh, you mean I can't go ahead and build a room? Not until you're able to give us satisfactory answers to the questions we're required to ask. Oh, I see. Once you do that, you will be issued a permit and can begin construction. Oh. Well, Bill, I've heard of buildings being condemned before, but this is the first time I ever heard of a condemned contractor. Oh, Bill, now don't do that. You're really taking this too hard, Bill. Well, I can't help it, honey. I thought you I'd get a permit and start work this afternoon. And you know I need that job. Yeah. Well, maybe Mr. Harry will be able to get a permit some way. And you still can get the work. Hey, Bill, you back already? Oh, hello, Donnie. Yeah, I'm back. That's swell. Now we can get started building my birdhouse. Mm -hmm. You can if you don't have to get a permit first. While you were gone, I drew up some blueprints on it. Only I couldn't find any blue paper. So I used some old paper bags. Oh, sort of a brown print, huh? 
is this it here? Yeah, and I even drew up a plot plan, too. A plot plan? Well, sure. Everybody's got to have a plot plan. Here we go again. <laughs> well, where did you find out about plot plans, Donnie boy? From Sandy's Uncle Morris. He's a contractor. Oh, I see. Now, now, now look, Bill. Yeah, we'll use some quarter round for girders and some, uh, some one by one for footings. Yeah. Girders? Yeah. Footings? Donnie, do you know all about those things? Well, sure. Any dope knows about that. <laughs> Want to bet? <laughs> Wait a minute, Mueller. Donnie. Hold the phone, blow the whistle, cut off the motors. I've just gotten me an idea. And I just got an idea. What idea you just got? You think it'll work? You can try. What are you two talking about? Donnie boy, how would you like to come down to City Hall with me and answer a few questions about plot plans and footings and goiters? You mean? I mean that I'd like you to be my partner in obtaining a permit to build a rumpus room. Think you can do it? Well, gee, sure I can. Then let's get going, boy. With your brains and my brawn, we'll be the best contracting outfit in the business. Ha! Dog, brains and brawn incorporated. Come on, Donnie. We want to get back there before they close for the afternoon. Okay. Wait. I'll go along with you. We'll change brains and brawn incorporated to brains, brawn, and beef. Incorporated, associated, and unlimited. <laughs> Are you wondering about Saturday's weather? Well, whether cloudy or cold, the sun always shines Saturday on CBS Radio. And no wonder, for here's a collection of hit shows that is sure to brighten your day. The Robert Q. Lewis Show, starring that man with a smile, a laugh, and a variety that will spice your life. And Saturday, over most of these same stations, brings the Galen Drake Show with music and song by Stuart Foster, Betty Johnson, Three Bows and a Peep, the Bernie Layton Orchestra, and genial chatter courtesy of Galen Drake. Les Paul and Mary Ford sing and play old and new hit tunes that are America's favorites. The curtain of drama goes up Saturdays on CBS Radio, too. The magical dramas of Let's Pretend that take you to the delightful land of dragons, sleeping beauties, and handsome princes. The thrilling, realistic dramas of Theater of Today, Stars Over Hollywood, and City Hospital. So don't worry about a gray day, for Saturday is a gay day on CBS Radio. <laughs> Trip to the city hall with Donnie was a wonderful idea. Everything worked out just fine. Donnie gave Bill all the right answers, and he got the permit. Now, if I could just get Donnie to give Bill another right answer to a little question of mine, maybe he'll get a permit to get married. <laughs> The Beulah Show is produced and directed by Stephen Hadis and was written this week by Hal Cantor, Arthur Julian, and Howard Leeds. Music is by Gordon Kibbe. Bill is played by Ernest Whitman, Oriole by Ruby Dandridge, Donnie by Sammy Ogg, the man at Department of Building by Earl Ross, and Beulah, of course, by Amanda Randolph. This is Johnny Jacobs speaking. Don't wait until the last moment to file your income tax return. The deadline is March 15th, but make your deadline as soon as possible. If you need help in filling out your return, your local director's office will give it to you without charge. And if you're entitled to a tax refund, the sooner you file your return, the sooner you'll receive it. So how about going over to your local director's office tomorrow? You've been listening to The Beulah Show, brought to you transcribed each weekday, Monday through Friday, from Hollywood. (laughs) 